School before I came to this school was not that great. I had a really rough time getting my work done, coming to school. I didn't make friends that easily. It was hard for me. I would get into a lot of trouble. I was a troublemaker. What I like about SOS is that we get to go off campus and do a bunch of cool things. For example, I'm taking right now a Cabrillo class. And also, we have the science workshop, which is a couple blocks down, and we get to go there too. The science workshop is unique because when they have projects and they explain them to us, they always tell us to experiment and try to improve the project if we can. So if I have an idea on how to make the project differently, but better, I can do it. I can go ahead and do it. And that's the, um, one freedom that we have. Then we go to the schools, which are elementary schools, and we teach the students how to make the projects that we were taught to make. I work with third, fourth, and fifth graders. Um, what we do is we take projects and we teach them how to do it step by step. And what we always tell them is to um, experiment, that we're there to teach them how to do the projects, not to do, them, do it for them. And it looks like the kids enjoy the, what we do for them. Before I came to Ponderosa, I dreaded going to school. I hated getting up in the morning and getting myself to this place where I was just wasting my time, I felt. Now, I love coming to Ponderosa. I love the people I get to meet, the people I get to spend time with, the experiences I get to have. The academics here are a lot more tailored to your personal learning needs. They are a lot more fun and engaging than most assignments that you get at a normal high school. Two years ago, the boat class started, and that was when I started here at Ponderosa. I knew nothing about tools or boats or anything like that. In boat class, we received these old, worn out, tired vessels here, and we um, strip them down, refinish them, and then we go sail them, and then sell them and put the money right back into the boats program. Today, we are here at the celebration of the wharf, the wharf's 100th birthday to inform the public about our school and our boats program. Now, I can definitely see myself sailing for the rest of my life. I ended up at SOS because I was leaving school a lot, you know, ditching and not paying attention in class and it didn't really feel like there was a reason to care. School was pretty much like a routine, like almost like every day was the same thing. When you're at Alternative Ed, you just do your own thing and succeed in your own ways. Recently we studied static electricity. Our teacher told us to write a song or a poem or something creative and we put together a song and a chorus and verses and we made a really cool little song about static electricity. You build up static wherever you are and it's only waiting to be discharged. This is a positive and negative imbalance and I've been studying magnetism ever since. If you don't what I figured is if I do it on my beard, it actually does stick to my beard and like my neck. We covered my friend Anna in balloons. It's pretty fun. <laughs> I think that alternative education allows you to express yourself more freely than at a regular high school. My school has really helped me because my teacher encourages me to keep striving towards becoming an artist and she has encouraged me to take Cabrillo classes and all these things that happened because I came here wouldn't have happened at a regular high school.
a good spot when I came here. My personal life was kind of in the gutter and this place kind of took me in and picked me up. I didn't fit in with the regular people that went to regular school. So I came here and people were welcoming. It's not really like a school, you know, it's more like a little family and uh, you make great connections with the teachers. My favorite experience here at Ponderosa has definitely been the backpacking trip. It was really a great experience pushing myself to places where I never thought I would be able to go. And at first I didn't even want to go on the backpacking trip, but Ryan came up to me the day before and said, I saw the look on your face. I think you should go because you want to go. Your friends may not be going, but I think it'll be good for you. And I went and it was the best thing that ever happened to me. It was so hard, but when I reached the top of that mountain and I got to look down at the ocean and see all the cars driving by, I felt so accomplished. We learned about the plants, we learned about the trails, we learned about the animals that were up there. It was not just a physical experience, it was also learning. It made me feel as if I could do anything. I was inspired to create a garden at school because I wanted to make it, you know, look pretty and contribute to the community some way. Gardening nowadays just kind of really is my, like, escape. I can work in the garden and, you know, I'll just kind of forget about everything for that little moment. You're planning for the future and you're just releasing your energy that you need to release. Before I found alternative education, I was kind of a mess in school. I couldn't even stand to be there. Ever since I was a little kid, it's always been a struggle to get me on the bus in the morning and actually make me get to school. I don't know, I'm just really happy that I found the teen center. Our classroom at school is kind of like a, like a home. Everyone's really nice there and I love my teacher. She's just really, really helpful and really, really caring. I actually like going to school. I like the school mostly because everybody's together and it's not like you're with strangers, it's like you're with the family. And I like how, I like the support. I really enjoy that. It's making me actually wanna go to school and be someone. <laughs> I was originally from Los Angeles, California. And moving up here, the first thing I wanted to do was finish my education. Neither my mother or father were able to get a high school diploma, and it meant a lot to me that I would. The Santa Cruz High School uh, wouldn't accept me because at the time I was 18. I called these people up, showed up the next day, and they said, we'll take you in. And I was so excited. Before I came here, the only thing I understood about construction were the basics of hammer and nail. That is all I knew. I graduated last year, decided I wanted to help the people who helped me. I wanted to give back. I work with one of my mentors, Brian. He was a construction teacher of mine. We've been building a two-story trailer, and it's very exciting because the students themselves didn't believe that we were going to build something you can live in. The empowerment that the students are, wow, I'm going to build a home. That to me is not only teaching good, good trade skills, but we just empowered someone who probably felt they never had a voice. Done. What I love the most about the school is how much support they give you. It's incredible to see people that you've known for maybe a year, maybe two, maybe your four years of high school uh, care so much about you and 
I think that's something that is really appreciated by all the students here. What's unique about this school is the way the teachers treat you, how you can get attention from your teachers one-on-one. -on -one. You can get the help you need, the support you need. A lot of the students that come here have been through difficult things and to come here and have people care about you so much and show interest in you gives us a sense of security. Like we know that someone's there for us and that's really appreciated because maybe even some of us don't get that at home. This was like the best decision I could have made. Alternative education has helped me in a very big way because when I was at Watsonville High, I would cut class, do the wrong things, and I just wasn't into school. At Watsonville High, if I wouldn't do my homework, nobody would say, why didn't you do it? They'd just let it slide. And here with Charmaine, if I don't do my homework one day, she's on it. Why didn't you do it? You're going to owe me a homework. That's how it has to be. I mean, if you want someone to be successful, you have to have someone who's pushing you and pushing you to your fullest potential. And that's what, that's what Charmaine does. We're learning how to do foundations on houses, how to do roofs. This is a miniature house that we have to build. It's not completely finished yet, it's still a work in progress. I took this class because construction is something that I really want to do later on in my future because it's a job that's never going to go out. Construction is always going to be needed. Now I'm pretty good at doing drywall and I want to become a contractor when I get older.